Wow, guys. I can't believe it. The NBA is getting petty. Petty. Adam Silver is threatening LeBron James' contract, talking about tampering. Because a reporter asked him a question about how he would, if he'd like to play with Anthony Davis. And he answered, just like when he answered about Dame Lillard, Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, so on and so forth. But it seems now that the, I don't want to say the word, but the vaginas of the GMs of the league have went and complained to the commissioner, and now he is threatening contract, his contract, talking about tampering. And does he realize how many other players do this, the same thing? So are they trying to do the Jordan thing when the old commissioner... He do a, he did run him out for a year. That was on some different stuff, supposedly gambling. This that who knows? I'm sure there's other behind the scene things we don't know. But man, and shout out to RB the breakthrough. I'm just gonna piggyback kind of like a reaction video on uh on what's going on uh. Follow, follow RB the Breakthrough, man. He does good videos. All right, let's get on with it. As you see there, threatens a LeBron James' contract, Adam Silver. After other GMs did report LeBron James to the league for quote-unquote tampering, the league has responded and actually threatened contracts. Now, I got to say this. A lot of you have been hitting me up this morning telling me that Stephen A. Smith, he actually sneaked this me. I'm getting the facts together, but please believe that that is the case. I will make a response video. Do I think that he knows who I am? I'm not really sure, but I woke up to a lot of you guys telling me that. But on my channel, it has been well documented what's been going on with LeBron James Anthony Davis and this quote unquote tampering situation. Not out of the blue, but in response to a reporter, LeBron James said that it would be amazing to play with Anthony Davis. Then after the Lakers beat the Pelicans, LeBron James actually ended up taking them out for a two for 20 at Applebee's. Now also keep in mind that the GMs, they reported LeBron James to the league after the amazing comments. Now LeBron James said, man, forget what y'all talking about. Even after y'all do that, I'm about to take this man for a two for 20 at Applebee's. But it looks like now the league has actually responded and it looks like they could possibly be threatening contracts at this point. Now this was reported by Adrian Wojnarowski but the NBA sent a memo to teams reminding them of its tampering rules and it says that employment contracts are to be respected and conduct that interferes with contractual relationships is prohibited. This principle is particularly important in today's media environment where any actions or comments relating to a potential player movement receive immediate and widespread public attention and I can't even lie that's facts. Teams should be able to focus their efforts on the competition this season with the players that they have already under contract without having to divert attention or resources to conduct speculation regarding the potential destination of those players in future seasons once their contract expires. Now this is obviously a response to the LeBron James situation. I mean, let's be honest though. And I promise guys, I get it. I know that these situations and these different players saying that they don't pull the same type of weight that LeBron James does pull, but the league and G they said nothing when Giannis Antetokounmpo said, hey, Anthony Davis, come play for the Bucks." He literally said that verbatim. The league had absolutely nothing to say when the Clippers stood outside waiting for Kawhi Leonard. Like, they were Carmelo Anthony after Kevin Garnett told Carmelo that Lala tastes like Cheerios. They didn't say anything then. And very important point, whenever they say employment contracts are to be respected and conduct that interferes with contractual relationships is prohibited, okay, now they're sending shots at your contract. They're basically telling you, hey man, if 
if you guys don't comply, we have the power to sniff that contract. Now, we already heard LeBron James say that nobody can silence him. He said that he's going to say what he wants to say and do what he wants to do, <laughs> which I can't lie. At this point, LeBron James, he knows that he runs the league, man. Facts. And I know a lot of you in the comment section after the last video that we did cover this, a lot of y'all were like, man, they're not going to do anything. There's going to be a slap on the wrist, a warning. So I do know that many of you wanted to see something worse than this happen. But at the end of the day, and again, I understand that LeBron James has more pull. I understand that usually whenever a LeBron James team needs something, they usually get it. I promise I get that. I'm not being naive to that. All I'm saying is let's still be consistent. Let's be objective. If it's tampering for LeBron James, it should be tampering for all these other players and teams as well. Now, if you are not subscribed to this channel yet, like, what are you doing? Make sure to like this video. Make sure to share this video. They definitely help the channel grow, and I definitely appreciate it. Sincerely, God bless. I'm out. Just want to offer some words of encouragement, man. You know, maybe you think that you're too old. Maybe you think that you're too short. Maybe you think you're too tall. Maybe you think that, you know, because of past decisions or... Yeah, man. That's pretty much it. That's crazy, right? What is a... What, what are they thinking? You guys are not fixing to, to take no contracts away from, away from LeBron James. Come on now. If you do, well, I know I would quit watching. You would just destroy the NBA. I don't think you guys want that when you're on top right now. You're, you're, you're the NFL. You're on top of all of them. Baseball isn't even irrelevant anymore since the little steroid scandal. So, yeah. And I think LeBron James is still not going. He's going to say what he's got to say. He's not worried about you, Adam Silver. All right, follow my man, RB Breakthrough. Shout out for the story. This is the first time I heard about it. Apparently, Woj broke the story, but I don't watch ESPN too much. I don't get time anymore. All right. What do you guys think? Will LeBron just get a slap on the wrist? Or will they really try to run him out of the league?